Yellowstone's endless geyser eruptions, Sakurajima's volcanic fury, and Kate Leoya's relentless lava rebirth. Yellowstone's never-ending eruption, the science of a geothermal enigma. Yellowstone National Park, USA. The earth trembles and the sky hisses. From deep beneath the surface of America's oldest national park, a force of boiling power erupts time and time again. The Steamboat Geyser, the tallest active geyser on Earth, continues to erupt without clear warning or pattern, throwing superheated water and steam hundreds of feet into the air, terrifying and mesmerizing visitors alike. The mystery is deepening. Why won't it stop? While geysers are known for their episodic activity, Steamboat has broken all the rules of geothermal behavior. Since early 2023, its eruption frequency has intensified, at times occurring weekly, and now in an unprecedented twist almost daily. This defies its historical patterns and has forced scientists into overdrive. We're seeing something extraordinary, said Dr. Elaine Moritz, lead volcanologist at the USGS Yellowstone Observatory. The system is overpressurized, supercharged, and cycling water faster than we've ever recorded. It's not just a geyser anymore, it's a warning beacon. Advanced thermal imaging and underground sonar scans show massive pressurized chambers of water and steam being heated by Yellowstone's vast magma reservoir. It's this same magma chamber that fuels fears of a supervolcano eruption, though experts currently assert no immediate danger. Still, cracks are forming. Temperatures beneath Norris Geyser Basin, where Steamboat sits, have risen nearly 10 degrees Celsius since early 2024. Steam vents are expanding, and tremor activity has spiked around the geyser. Some researchers now suggest that a newly formed underground water loop may be trapped in a constant cycle of reheating and pressure buildup, creating what they call a geothermal loop lock, where the geyser can't stop erupting without a release mechanism. Tourists continue to flock to witness nature's raw power, but park rangers remain cautious. We're not in panic mode, said one ranger, but we are in full science watch mode. Is this a prelude to something bigger? Only time and further science will tell. Sakurajima's volcanic roar, Japan's volcano speaks again. Kagoshima Prefecture, Japan. In southern Japan, the mighty Mount Sakurajima has awoken once again, with more force than anyone expected. The ground shuddered violently just after midnight on Friday followed by a deafening boom that shook homes in the city of Kagoshima. Lava fountains burst skyward and ash clouds choked the skies, reaching altitudes of nearly 6,000 meters, over 19,500 feet. A fiery glow lit the night as molten bombs, superheated volcanic projectiles, rained down on the volcano's slopes, 
igniting wildfires and triggering airspace alerts. Drone footage from Japan's meteorological agency revealed a widening summit crater, pulsing with magma and gas pressure. This isn't just a surface eruption, warned geophysicist Dr. Naoki Ichikawa of the University of Tokyo. The magma chamber is showing signs of vertical migration, which could signal deeper system unrest. In the past 72 hours, over 1,200 tremors have been recorded beneath Sakurajima, with several reaching magnitudes above 4.0 on the Richter scale. Scientists believe this could indicate the formation of a new vent beneath the volcano's southern flank, potentially a more dangerous scenario if it breaches beneath urban areas. The Japanese government has raised the eruption alert level to 5, the highest possible, ordering mandatory evacuations for multiple zones. Volcanic ash now blankets parts of Kagoshima City, disrupting power grids and contaminating drinking water sources. Emergency crews are distributing masks, clean water and volcanic shelters for vulnerable populations. Kalawea's fiery heart, Hawaii's is volcano, forges a new landscape. Hawaii Volcanoes National Park, Big Island. Far across the Pacific, another fiery titan shows no sign of sleeping. The Kalauea Volcano, among the most active on Earth, continues its unbroken eruption into a newly formed crater, reshaping the Big Island's volcanic landscape in real time. June 2024, a powerful summit collapse within Halema Umau crater opened a fresh breach, unleashing a lava surge unlike anything seen in over a decade. Since then, lava fountains have been gushing 24 hours a day, building a growing lava lake now over 45 meters deep and nearly half a kilometer wide. The amount of lava being produced is staggering, said Dr. Kaipo Hokalani of the Hawaiian Volcano Observatory.